This is a look back. How it started. Didn't we already look back? What are we doing now? We're looking back. Ju- we're looking all the way back now. I'm just like looking at Cody's six pack right now. <laughs> there must be one picture where he looks ripped. Nervous? <laughs> Come on, it's a game of gotcha. 20 years ago, I married Mary. And then 17 years ago, I married Janelle. <laughs> and then 16 years ago, I married Christine. I feel like, and this just dawned on me, but he was 19 when he got married. So like in full hormone, like heavy hormone. He like got married um, three times in three years at 19, like 19, 20, 21. That's... That is that, a, that is a, that's that's a quick hormones. pace. Yeah. Is that straight hormones? That doesn't seem like you've like settled into any of your marriages. Wait, was it really back to back one year at a time? He just said, I married Mary 20 years, Janelle 17, and Christine 16. So not almost Mary the longest. Yeah. It's a fast clip. All three of us were married before any of the kids were born. So when we tell you that really the kids are all ours, it's because we've raised all of the kids. That's the family I fell in love with. Way before Cody. <laughs> She's such a downer. Wait. No, <laughs> hold on. Wait, why is it a downer? She just always, like, I feel like she sucks the energy out of the room. Like, the rest of them are like, oh, they're so cute. And she's like, that's the family I fell in love with way before Cody. I'm like, but you didn't know the family before Cody. So that's not true. You, Mary introduced you, and he had to like travel to the fan, to to Robin. But which doesn't was an it, issue. but doesn't it suggest that she, perhaps, she fell in love with the idea of the family and not actually Cody? Mm-hmm. Yes. You're, right. And now that the family's mm-hmm. gone, now she's stuck with ramen noodle. Six? No, he's got six packs. Six pack. Yeah. Robin has her choice. But I feel like that we uh, should invite Robin to come into our family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit of a silly dynamic that they set up. Here's all these kids that at that age know nothing about marriage. They've never seen anything different in their family. And then they're asked, hey, do you want to bring Robin in and all these kids? And the kids are like, yeah. Well, that's a, it's a, that is a, I mean, that's a nice thing for TLC, but it's not a, a valuable point of data. Also, I, I couldn't help but notice Christine in the background did not look happy. They scan her oh. and it, when he's asking, and he's like, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I don't want to watch this one. What do you think? Oh, I, that was a special time in my life. I finally fell in love. He's such an asshole. <laughs> I cannot, um, because it didn't work out. And, I mean, he's just like, like, n- none of those women look happy at that point. No. No, even Mary doesn't. <laughs> no, Mary looks devastated. Yeah. And even now, Mary's like, I can't, I don't want to watch that one. Yeah. I'm in love with Robin. That doesn't diminish any of my other wives at all. I'm in love with them. Robin, it's like, okay, so were you lying then or are you lying now? What do you think? Was he lying then or is he lying now? Because she's right. It's one of the two. He's lying now. I think he was lying then. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, but you go first. Why do you... I think it's easy to say, like, now, after everything has unfolded, mm-hmm. that he never loved them. Mm-hmm. I think that's the easy way out. But he, like, had a beautiful family with them that he treasured. And in the earlier episodes, you see it before Robin. So I feel like... I feel like he's lying now because he can't remember... He, you know, you're biased by your actual feelings right in the moment, and he seems like he's biased by his feelings. Yeah. I agree with you that he had a beautiful family before, but it's hard for me to think the idea, and I guess this comes from a monogamous perspective, but the idea that he was that he loved the three wives equal, equally seems unlikely. But I can imagine that you would have affection for three women equally, and then you could treat those three women equally. But 
I almost feel like he married them for the wrong reasons because he wanted this family, because he thought it was the right thing, because it increased his status in the church. And so those three relationships he was able to maintain and kind of keep that status quo. Then you bring in the wild card, which is Robin, who he's attracted to in a different way, who he has affection for in a very different way than the other three. And now he's out of whack because he loves one and it's a very different feeling and emotion than he has for the other three. You know what I mean? And so I wonder if that's, um, it, I wonder if he's right there as far as he didn't really know what love was until he met Robin. Mm-hmm. No, I, I just, no. You disagree? I disagree. <laughs> I think he's a lover scorned. I wouldn't oh. have married him if I didn't think that he loved me. I thought he loved me and that he was in love with me. But the question would be now, if we ask Christine now with her relationship with David, does she think that Cody and David felt the same about her? Does she think that Cody loves her more, or sorry, does, does she think that David loves her more or less than she thought Cody loved her? Right, I bet you she would say, oh my God, the connection with David is very different than it ever was with Cody. I think she has said that, actually. I think she has on, on the tell -all. If I would have seen him be, you know, show favoritism or not be fair, I would have really probably backed away from it really fast. That she is so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> can you give examples of when you've done that? Yeah, name one time, because I can give a thousand examples of when he showed favoritism. We need some examples. Melting the ring, the distribution of the lots, spending some, holidays. The COVID situation. The COVID situation. I mean, I, it's not hard to come up with examples. Name one time when you did that. Very challenging thing to see me going through, like, oh, I'm going through a wedding, I'm gonna have a reception, yay, I'm getting married, and all this stuff. And so I thought, you know what? It would be fun to include everyone. Just so everybody knows, I reacted to this on my YouTube channel. So we ha there is a video where I respond to this horrific episode. Yeah. So, so, so go look through the archives, the pop psych. The deep pop psych arc archives. I picked the dress. He's a groom. Did you really? I picked the dress. Thanks, that's just nice to do. I think it's important. I don't think that it's fair that I not be involved in it. He is so dense. So dense. Quick question. Is there any type of treatment for narcissism or just jackass behavior? I think that officially jackassery is easier to treat than narcissism. <laughs> But you can treat narcissism over time. I mean, they say it's like a seven-year intensive process. But that is a good segue for the sponsor to this video, which is BetterHelp. I am very excited that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. I can't tell you how often, as a psychologist, people ask me how they can find a good therapist. What's the right place to start? How do you approach it? You know, especially at the new year, people are planning for the future, they're making resolutions, they're setting goals, and therapy can be a really important part of that process. Over the last decade, BetterHelp has led the charge when it comes to multimodal treatment, meaning, you know, in the past, you could just meet a therapist in person, face to face. But the downside of that is oftentimes you couldn't find a therapist that was a good fit for you. They were hard to access. You didn't know where to start. And BetterHelp kind of solves all of those problems for you. You are able to do voice calls, video calls, even chat-based therapy. And to make sure that you find a therapist that is a good fit for you, you take an online survey and they help pair you up with therapists that have the skill set you're looking for. And because you're doing it online, it's very easy if a therapist is not a good fit to shift to another therapist. So I think it makes it much easier for a client to really get their needs met with the right therapist. Now, here's the good news. Because you are part of the Pop Psych audience, BetterHelp is offering you a 10% discount on your first month if you click through the link below, betterhelp.com forward slash pop psych. Obviously, I'm a huge advocate for therapy. I really encourage you to pursue it. Join the other 4 million plus people that have used BetterHelp to pursue a happier and healthier life. I wasn't really emotionally involved with any of the dresses, but suddenly it was like this, this thing that we had done all done together, like the women. And then here's Cody saying, oh, well, it wasn't really for real. What's like, interesting here is how fast the turnaround is. Like, so for, for, for example, right now, Christine Christine is in her emotions. She's hurt by what she just learned. Really rapidly, Janelle is able to pivot to 30,000 foot views. Here how, or view, here's how I felt, here's what it was like, right? She's able to distance herself psychologically really quickly from 
the experience, which I think is why she's adapted into the person she is now, where she's like, I don't need anybody. Like, she's already, I think she's emotionally distant from Cody, even at this point. Yeah. My involvement in seeing a dress that was going to work for Robin incited some kind of jealousy in Christine that was irrational. Uh, Cody and I didn't do anything wrong. But she said, in the moment, she said, I asked him not to tell you guys that. So she knew it was going to hurt people. She, yeah, I think she, yeah, I think they didn't do anything wrong because they're a couple, but they didn't take anybody else's feelings into account. So she knew it would hurt them, and it did. And um, he clearly didn't care whether or not it hurt them. He just wanted to be like, look at me, look at me. I picked it out. I got a bomb I'm going to drop. Guess what? I'm dropping a bomb today. So I think I think that Cody is psychologically more on the sort of uh, doesn't get it side of the continuum, meeting that diagnostic, again, not diagnosing anybody, but meeting some of the diagnostic criteria for narcissism, doesn't understand how he's impacting the world around him. I think Robin gets it and doesn't care. Mm-hmm. She's more on the selfish side of things. Yeah. Wow. Lie. And the, you know what I don't like is that they diminish it down to jealousy. Oh yeah, like everybody was, else is irrational. So di- it was so diminishing. It was uh, that's your wife that has had six kids with you and has taken care of all of them, and that's how you treat her. You're impressive. Dude. I mean, like I knew I had a lot of joy in my union with Robin, but there was so much criticism about it that it it was the best time of my whole life, and yet it, it still has pain. Boo-hoo. Yeah, I'm struggling to feel empathy for Cody in this particular moment. Mm-mm. There's this accusation that she's my favorite, but I still put work in with the other broads that I was I with. don't love them, though. Yeah. In seven and a half months, truly won't be the little one. <gasps> That is really interesting that the kids weren't excited. Well, some of them were, but the older not, kids. Not many. I mean, it had to be like the happiness is being modeled here by Christine, but the the group as a whole is not nearly as excited as they were when he was like, we're bringing Robin in mm-hmm. because they know, these kids know what it's like to bring in younger siblings. Mm-hmm. There's so many voices that were not happy or struggling to accept Solomon. Like I've done a lot to forgive reactions. Wait, is she talking about she's she's done a lot to forgive weird reactions from the kids? Mm-hmm. Well, kiss it. I think she didn't announce it correctly, number one. And, like, no one... Like, they're just put in that situation. Like, the kids have to accept everything. That's what adults don't understand. Like, they're on an adult schedule. They have to accept everything that an adult does except bringing in another wife. Like, I get it. And so they're just like... Well, yeah, and most of those kids are younger teenagers, and their perspective on the family's readiness to have another child is probably impacted by how the family's behaving. My guess would be they're not totally out of lunch to be annoyed by the addition of another child. Yeah, they probably have a lot more insight. Yeah. I know that every time Mary would find out about one of the other wives being pregnant, it was like a challenge for her. Good luck without me. Are you going to tell them? we got to say why. I have to go on a work trip. Until next time. <laughs> so we didn't, we, couldn't, we didn't get it done fast enough, so you're stuck with me till the end here. Mm-hmm. I'll try to hold down the fort. We see right there? It seems like you loved me there. So what was real? Really, you're that good of an actor? Because, like, I don't think that those scenes were, and those moments, I don't think that you're lying. I think this is a hard one because nobody wants to agree with Cody. But I think that Cody's right. I think that when he first engaged with Janelle, with Mary, and with Christine, I think he was acting the part. I think that at the time, he felt like that was love. And then he married Robin and experienced something very different. But in particular for Mary and for Janelle, I don't know that they've had that level of connection with anybody. So 
Cody's looking at their relationships and saying, it wasn't love, it was something else. And those two are going, what are you, what are you talking about? Th that was the biggest romantic relationship in my life. I think it's interesting now, though, I think if you asked Christine, were you in love with Cody the way that you're in love with David? I think she would say, no, I was, I'm much more connected to David than I ever was to Cody. And I think that that sort of proves the point here that for Cody at the time, he was acting the part because he had Robin. It was, he was shown, hey, this is what love actually looks like. And for the other three, at that stage of their lives, Cody was all they had. And so there's this inequity there that I think uh, their perceptions are different looking at the same exact experience. Does that make any sense? You know, it took Cody and I five years to have Leon. That's interesting. That's the first time that I've heard them mention Leon, I think in two seasons. So for a while, I felt like Robin was the enemy. And now that I realize she's not the enemy and she has my back and she loves and cares for me, she wants the best for mine and Cody's relationship. I realize how important it is to let her in and to trust her because she's a good person. Without knowing. See, like right there, I think that Christine's acting. The same way that Cody was acting with Christine, Janelle, and Mary, I think Christine's acting here with Robin. I think people do that in relationships, right? You want the relationship to look a certain way, so you act as if. I don't think Christine was loving on Robin right here, and I don't think that Christine thought that Robin was the best person right here. I think she was still frustrated with Robin here. So I wanted to let her in, and I wanted to be close to her, but I couldn't because I didn't know if really she wanted the big family. If Allison were here, I would say, point for the psychologist. Because she's in full denial of what actually happened. They thought, everybody thought that I was leaving the family and I was having an affair on Cody. And I wasn't. I still don't know what happened. They, they're always talking, it's like a room full of feathers. Was she having a romantic relationship with somebody online or was she having a friendship an emotional affair with somebody online with no intention of intimacy I, I don't know continue standing my ground that i know it was in my heart and i didn't can somebody in the comments tell me what exactly happened i feel like there's probably internet sleuths that have learned more than what tlc is willing to share the cody brown family we embrace a spirit of abundance and affection. Time, opportunity, peace, wealth, prosperity, wisdom. I can't and watch this. She's just so dramatic, it's hard to be empathetic. But I do think she's grieving. But she got to she dramatic. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. We will record one more of these in a few days when Allison is back from her work trip.